Busing crackdown. A local police department is taking action after another commuter train crash. Good evening, I'm Brett Conley. I'm Angela Taylor. We have new video today of the moment the train hit an SUV, and this is not the first time. West 2's Chris Hush is live in Maitland, and Chris, officers are worried people are trying to speed over the tracks in front of the trains. Yeah, even with clear signs like this one telling drivers where to stop on red or what about those railroad crossing gates that come down when the train goes through, even those apparently are not enough to keep drivers from trying to beat the trains here. So police in Maitland are hoping high fines will. Crash. After crash, just this week, the sixth collision involving a Sunrail train and a vehicle since Sunrail began operations last May. On Horatio Avenue in Maitland, this SUV tried to beat the train, but the train beat it. How do you try and beat a train? Right? Of the six train versus vehicle accidents, officials say none have been Sunrail's fault. Now Maitland police say enough is enough. Starting Monday, March 30th, officers will ramp up enforcement at railroad crossings throughout the city. In a statement, police say this enforcement is to help educate drivers to the dangers of not complying with state laws regarding railroad crossings and to enforce those existing laws. The driver of this SUV was ticketed and will now have to pay a $164 fine. With this enforcement, there could be more tickets issued. But police say the main goal is to educate drivers and prevent scenes like this one. I think it might help, but I still think there's going to be the odd people that are just going to try and run it no matter what. If a train were to even see you here at the Maitland Sunrail station, it would take it one mile for it to come to a complete stop which means the train would finally come to a stop here on Lake Avenue. You know, don't try and beat the train. The driver of this SUV escaped death. So did the others. Please hope it doesn't take a tragedy to get this message across. Definitely need to be a little more patient. Yeah, and a lot of people we spoke with uh, here in Maitland tell us they're just simply not used to the frequency, the amount of trains that now run through Maitland. As far as the stepped up enforcement goes, again, it begins on Monday, March 30th, and will run for one month, ending on April 30th. For now, we're live in Maitland. Chris Hush, West 2 News on CW18.